So tonight I'm looking at a play technique called the cross rough. You'll have heard me say something along those lines before. Um, you will have, perhaps unknowingly, although probably knowingly, done some kind of a cross rough in your time before um, without realising how you set the stages up. So this is what we're looking at how you set the stages up to perform a cross rough. So first of all, what do I mean by a cross rough? So I'm sure we'll have all been at this kind of stage towards the end of a hand. Let's say spades of trumps. Obviously that isn't a complete hand, there's things happened before. But spades of trumps, so now, given that we are the declaring side, we will trump a diamond over here, trump a heart over here. Okay? Fairly straightforward. At this stage you're probably showing your hand now, going, I'll trump this, trump that. If the defenders are on lead, the only thing they can lead to stop that is a trump. <coughs> they probably don't have any trumps, given that we're 11 tricks in by now. Um, so this is, in a sense, a cross-rough, because what you're doing is roughing one thing over there and roughing one thing over here. So you've got cross-roughing. So we'll have probably all done this before without realising it. What a cross-rough normally refers to is roughing the whole hand out, or trying to cross-rough the whole hand out. So rough a heart, rough a diamond, rough a heart, rough a diamond, rough a heart, rough a diamond, blah, 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 until eventually the defenders get bored. Um, <laughs> the idea is to lull them into bored. No, not really. Um, so a cross-rough can refer to this, some, some players will say cross rough as they put their hand down saying this is how I'm going to play it. Um, but a cross rough when spoken about just generally means playing the whole hand on a cross rough, roughing one thing over one hand and one thing in another hand. So, a more normal kind of cross rough hand is when you have a whole hand. Um, so you'll have heard me say before um, roughing in the short holding is a good thing, and roughing in the long holding is not a good thing. The reason for this is roughing in the short holding gives you extra tricks, basically. So what a cross rough is, it's kind of like a special variant of this roughing in the short holding. Because what you need to do when roughing in the short holding is you need to get the lead back over here to do it some more. So you're constantly hungry for entries in the hand that you need to rough things in. So in this example, we would like to trump four diamonds in this hand here. We're going to play the ace of diamonds, trump a diamond, get to hand, trump a diamond, get to hand, trump a diamond, get to hand, trump a diamond. Because we've got all four of these losers here, we need to do something with them. Okay? So trumping in the short holding, i.e. trumping in south, is a good thing for us, because you're making all those tricks separately. All of these trumps are going to win individually. I'm assuming, of course, that one person doesn't run out of diamonds very early. You know, the diamonds could be split quite badly, but I'm, I'm assuming that's not the case. Um, so, when we're talking about roughing and short holding, you need a lot of entries to the hand that isn't the short holding, so you can keep trumping, because by trumping, you end up getting the lead in the wrong place every time. So what a cross rough is, it's a way of getting back to the other hand whilst trumping also. So in this kind of hand, you're going to play it out by ace of diamonds, trump a diamond, ace of hearts, trump a heart, trump a diamond, trump a heart, trump a diamond, trump a heart. So each time you trump something, you get the lead in the right place to then trump the other suit and so on and so forth. Now it's worth noticing, trumping hearts does not give you extra tricks. You are not gaining tricks by trumping in the long holding. What you are doing is gaining the lead in the right place to trump more diamonds. So it's essentially a mechanism to get the lead back here. You could, of course, use the ace of clubs as an entry. That's fine. You don't want to use trumps as entries because you want to use all four of these trumps on all four of these diamonds, preferably. So here, this hand, you're going to aim to try to take all four of these trumps on their own and therefore potentially make all five of these trumps on their own as well. Basically, you make stacks of tricks from your trump suit alone. The reason a cross rough seems reasonable is because A, you can trump in the short holding and B, you have a way to get back here by trumping something else. So normally, when we're talking about normal play, you trump in the short holding you try to get the lead back here, you trump in the short holding, that's probably as much as you can now do, and then you draw the trumps. Here, this is quite an extreme example, because you've got a lot of losers to trump over here. So you need a lot of entries back up to here. Do you all see that? So what are we going to do with all these diamonds? We're going to trump them. How are we going to get the lead back here four times? The only way really to do that, yes we've got an ace here, is to trump hearts. Again, trumping hearts does not give you extra tricks, it simply moves the lead back to where you need it to be to trump more diamonds. Okay? Just to do a little recap, just to prove my point if you like. 
We're going to make, let's assume, five tricks out of this spade suit. That's reasonable, unless the spades are going to break badly. By trumping hearts, I know I've done this before, but it's good to do it again. We play ace of hearts, trump a heart. We now will, we will no longer take five tricks in spades, because we don't have five spades anymore. So we've gone from five to four, but we've just trumped one. So one. So we've gone to five, to five. So therefore trumping the long holding doesn't do anything. Trumping the short holding, we've still got those five tricks we're going to take. We get rid of this diamond by playing the ace on it. And then we trump a diamond. Again, I'm assuming no one else is trumping. It's quite un unlucky if someone else has run out of diamonds as well. So you trump a diamond. Oops. Forgot to that length. So we've still got the five tricks here because we've kept the length. And we've just gained a trick there by trumping the short holding. So we've gone to five, to five, plus one. So as you trump in the short holding, your tricks go up and up and up. As you trump in the long holding, you have to trump enough times for it to become the short holding to start gaining tricks. So it's easier to trump in the short holding. The problem we have here is we now want to get the lead back here to then trump another diamond. Then the lead back here to trump another diamond. Then the lead back here to trump another diamond. It's very hard work. Got things to do with all three of these. Obviously there are risks you're taking along the way. Someone might run out of diamonds somewhere. If that's the case, then you've turned a loser into a loser. You've not lost anything. But the only realistic way to get the lead back there after the ace of clubs has gone is to trump hearts. Yes, you could use a trump to get back over here, but that would burn a trick, wouldn't it? Because you use a trump, you now haven't got enough trumps to deal with all these diamonds. Okay? So a cross rough is essentially trumping in a short holding, holding taken to the next level. It's trumping in the short holding and using trumping in the long holding as your communication method.